What's going on guys and welcome back to the Rebecca Rushcast. In today's episode we're going to be talking about the third eye or the parietal eye. It's something that people freak out about when they see and they don't know anything about it. But in reality, your skinks have three eyes. Um, two are conventional eyes and one is not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys through a ton of pictures, some of my animals, some of my skinks, and some of Austin's animals that aren't skinks because there's reptiles with parietal eyes, there's even fish with parietal eyes. It's truly an evolutionary thing where these animals have developed to one degree or another a third eye on the top of their heads as um, just something to help them evolve and to help them adapt to their environment and to their conditions. So. I'm going to take you through, talk about the parietal eye, explain its function in most animals, and explain how some animals have it more developed than others, and how fish even use the parietal eye. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode, because it's going to be awesome. So the third eye is one of the topic that I find extremely interesting personally. Because what we are saying in reality is that these animals have three eyes. Two are conventional eyes found on the sides of the head. They see images and they take in light and they help the animal navigate with its sight. The third eye, parietal eye or penal eye, is located on the top of the head of the animal. It's actually part of the epithalamus and it's also associated with the penal gland, which uh, is why they call it the penal eye sometimes. So the penal eye, parietal eye, or third eye is found in a lot of reptile species as well as fish like tuna and pelagic sharks and even lampreys which are one of the oldest living vertebrates. The parietal eye uh, helps the animals take in light. It uh, allows the animals to thermoregulate and know when it's daytime and when it's nighttime. It also helps the animal avoid predation. The third eye doesn't see images necessarily, but it can tell a quick change between light and dark, which could be a predator approaching from overhead. So this is one of my female northerns, and right there you're able to see her parietal eye. In Taliqua skinkoides intermedia, or northerns, it's extremely easy to locate this eye, and I'm sure you guys are going to go and check it out now. So here we have some baby Rankin's dragons, which are a close relative to bearded dragons. Right here on the bottom baby, you're able to see its parietal eye extremely clear on the dark head. One thing that I wanted to show with this image is how you can see that the parietal eye is slightly recessed into that scale, which I believe helps it avoid abrasion when these animals are burrowing. Here is one of my male Taliqua skinkoides intermedia. And you're able to see that he does have an extra scale there on the top of his head. But right here on the top of that scale, you can see his eye. Here we have a bearded dragon. And I don't know if you guys are able to spot it yet. But right here is the parietal eye on this animal. It's super small compared to its large head. But you are able to see it. Here we have an eastern. Which you should have found it by now. But if you haven't. It's right here. I'm sure you guys are super eager at this point to go and check out where the parietal eye is on your skinks. Here we have another Rankin's dragon, which is a little bit closer image. It's right here, and you're able to see that that eye is very clear on the dark scales on the head. Here we have a P minor, which is another relative of the bearded dragon and the Rankin's dragon, but is super rare here in the States. Right there is its parietal eye, which is that little tiny white speck on this super small animal. And here we're going to get into some harder to find eyes. I want you guys to have fun and see if you're able to locate the hard to find eyes on these last four lizards. And go ahead and let me know in the comments section below if you were able to find all four eyes because they are super, super, super hard to find on the rough scales of these four animals. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know I did. The parietal eye is something crazy that 
nobody really knows about. And it's crazy to think that these animals have an eye on the top of their heads that even has a lens. Um, I mean, it's clearly not looking around and doing things like that, but it is helping them in one way or another, um, be it to, to recognize day from night or to help with um, surviving predation and uh, prevent themselves from being consumed by predators. So it's just crazy to think about that, that these animals have three eyes. Um, so I hope you guys take the time, go and look at your skinks, try and find the parietal eye. And if you guys don't have skinks, bearded dragons have them. I mean, all kinds of animals or all kinds of reptiles have the parietal eye. So take the time, go check it out. Again, you're not gonna wanna pick at it or anything like that. It's not stuck shed, it is an eye. Uh, so again, don't try and pick at it because it's probably gonna hurt them. Um, I know if someone was picking at a third eye on the top of my head, that would suck, so don't do that. But I hope you guys enjoyed, I know I did. As always guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you haven't done so already, please check out my blog. I am taking you guys behind the scenes on a lot of this stuff and just going through my day-to-day -day life as well as my journey to becoming a full-time reptile breeder. Thank you guys.